Hey guys, it's week nine on Project Amberlight, my little blog about making a short film. So this week I am, as you can see in different circumstances, I am in London. Um, we have got 20 days, no, 21 days, three weeks, till we, is that right? 21 days? No, <gasps> less, 16 days until we shoot. And um, so I'm on the ground and uh, getting ready to uh, getting ready to start, and that's why I'm standing up because I'm all I'm all amped up, standing up, amped up. So um, what's happening this week? Well, um, let's start with the Indiegogo thing. Let's just get that done. We are at seventy one percent. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been amazing. I can't I can't even believe that we've gotten this far. So um, yeah, we got seventy one percent, eleven and just under eleven and a half grand. And so I today I took the executive decision and I decided to extend the campaign until the end of Saturday because I'm just thinking, what if we got to thirteen? Because eleven and a half is great, but. 13 would make, would just take the squeeze off a little bit. So I'm going to extend the campaign for four days in the hope that we hit 13. I've sort of let go of 16, but 13. Now that would be good because that means we can still do a lot of the things that we want to do and we can still get most of the stuff that we want to get. So let's see if we can get that far. That's the plan anyways. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's going really well. And just like, you know, people coming out of like the woodwork sort of thing, people I haven't seen for uh, years, met years ago, have been really generous. So um, yeah, just blown away by that and very, 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 very grateful. So that's been very cool. Um, on the, uh, what else have we been doing? Oh, um, so I've been having, starting to have meetings now with my crew. Um, my first AD has been asking me for storyboards and shot lists. And so I've been uh, making attempts this is um my attempt <laughs> shot list i mean a uh, storyboard the problem is i'm not an artist right so it's actually really hard to sort of communicate a, sh a shot especially if it's like a not a, a you know straight on angle if it's like you know i can't draw perspective that was my that was my best attempt at perspective i don't think that's too bad actually i'll be auctioning these off later um, so that's the thing. So I've got to at some point sit down and actually think about the creative side of this thing rather than just like the whole logistics of how to put this thing together. Um, and I had a really good meeting with the um, uh, DP uh, on uh, Skype, uh, FaceTime, if you must know. Uh, so we, yeah, he asked me about, um, you know, storyboards and all that sort of stuff and the look and the feel. And he wants some sort of sample uh, films that he could look at to give him an idea of what, what it is I'm going for. So, yes, yeah, so I've got to do all that. Actually, I should write that down. Yeah. Film references for Justin. Yeah. So that's good. On the crewing side, we're in pretty good shape actually. We've got a stylist who's going to buy the wardrobe for the actors. She's not going to be there on the day, so we still have to get somebody to do that. But we, uh, we at least there's somebody who's going to you know start buying. Um, we have got a makeup artist, so sort it sweet. Um, we potentially are going to have a designer very soon. Um, we're meeting people uh, on Monday and Tuesday, so fingers crossed that's going to get sorted this week. Um, we have, oh, sound boy, sound guy, he's been, uh, we just hired a sound person, and, um, yeah, so he's on board now, so that's most of the crew, we still need a script supervisor, but we've got meetings set up for that as well, so we're almost there, almost, almost there, on the crew. Casting-wise, um, we have still yet to find our boy band for the photo shoot, which we're doing, uh, in a week's time, so I think next... No, not next Wednesday, the Wednesday after. So we're going to be um, shooting the boy band posters. So we need four boy band members, basically, um, with their own wardrobe. Money's tight um, to come and do that. So that's what we've got to do. We've also got to find some super fans. We've got to find Amber's mum and two police officers. Um, but I've got some ideas about that, um, uh, people in my network. So I'm going to sort of reach out to them, as they say, and um, see if they would be up for playing the role. But it's, it's you know, it's awkward with friends because, you, you know, you don't want them to feel like they have to say yes just because you asked. But they do! <laughs> no, um, yeah, so I'm going to so I'm gonna put, put it to them, but make sure there's always an open door that if they want to walk through it, they can, but there's no problem if they if they decide it's not for them because they might read it and just go, ah, uh, no. So, um, yeah, so that's that. 
What else? Oh, I'll tell you what else we've got. We've got a photographer. Um, because I don't know if you remember, I said we need um, an on-set uh, stills photographer, production photographer, but also someone to take these photos for the boy band thing. So he's he's into that. So he's, he's going to be doing that. And that's actually somebody that I know pretty well. So it's so nice to be working with friends. And most of the people that have come onto this project, apart from a couple, makeup, wardrobe and sound guy, are people that I know. So it's going to be brilliant to just be with people who are on my side and know me and, you know, just going to be with me sort of thing. So that's really exciting. So, ah, hallelujah. I just remembered. We went, uh, yesterday we started looking at locations um, for the first time. Zoe has been amazing in sort of setting up, uh, calling people, setting up meetings. And it's been really hard to find a luxury home that's, that looks like it would be a boy band's home for the budget that we have, which is not a lot. So we are starting to lose faith a little bit. I've had a few sleepless nights this week. And so I... Um, I, uh, yeah, so we went yesterday to a couple of these places and the first one we saw, I was kind of like, yes. So we went to see another one and I was like, no. Actually, no, we've seen, we saw one the other day. We saw one on Friday and that one I thought it was okay. I thought if, 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 if I had nowhere else apart from there to film, I'd be like, all right, we, we can make this work. But then we saw one on Saturday morning and it was just like, this is what I'm talking about. It's still not quite big enough, but I'm pitching it in my head like this is this is Charlie's London home. So when he when he pops over to London, this is where he stays. And I think once it's on camera, I think it'll actually look really nice. And it's got some beautiful artwork in there. Um, now the unfortunate thing about artwork is you actually technically have to get it cleared to be able to use it in a film. So um, we might do that, or we might have to take it down, which is a bit of a ball ache um, because it looks really good. But we might have found our location, which is massive because I was just like going crazy, thinking, oh, we've got nowhere to film. We've got nothing. We ain't got like Amber's mum. We ain't got you know. We haven't got the police officers. We got... Anyway, so now we're getting there. Um, so that's really good. You see my makeup bag under my arm there. Um, so, <laughs> but that's really good. Uh, so that was really exciting. We haven't booked it yet. We haven't confirmed it. But we met the guy that manages the property. And he's like, if I get something else, I will let you know. So I think we've got first dibs on it. So I'm going to leave it a couple of days. See if anything else comes up by chance. And if it doesn't, boom, we're in. Um... And then this week, <clears throat> I've got to do some more location scouting. So this week we've got to do, we've got to find a police station. We have got to, what else? Police station, hotel, we've got to find a hotel. Um, and it's just for a really short scene, but it's where Amber and, anyways, I'm not telling you, not telling you a story. You have to wait and watch the film. Anyway, so we've got to find a hotel and, um, yeah, we've got to do, we've got to find some cars. There's two, there's two cars in this film, but we're just going to keep going. And, and on top of that, got to run, keep going, keep the Indiegogo campaign going as well. So, um, somehow in the middle of all, all of that, we're going to hopefully produce some sort of film. Ha! Um, that's it. I'm in pretty good shape, actually. I think we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, and then, oh, finally, we're doing the rehearsal. Um, so we've got rehearsal with the actors this weekend, which I cannot wait for, because for me, that's what this is all about. This is all about telling the story and just figuring out well, because if, if if the actors don't know what they're doing or we haven't, you know, really sort of gone into depth and broken the script down, as they say, then you know, what's the point of it all? It doesn't matter how beautiful it looks. If people go, oh, I don't believe that person. I don't believe that story. I don't, that's not a good actor or whatever. Or that's not a good performance. Well, what's the point? So we've got two days just working on the scripts. It's only 17 pages, but so two days is nice and generous. We've also got to do some wardrobe fitting in the middle of that. And then next week, hopefully we will, um, sorry, after that, we'll get um, some fight training in because no spoilers, but there's a fight. And I want to make sure that people can do it and not hurt each other but make it look like they're kicking 10 bells out of each other. So that'd be good. So that's it really. So it's still a very full on week and uh, and I've made life a little bit harder for myself by extending the Indiegogo because I've got to do that as well as all the sort of pre-production stuff. But I think it'll be worth it. And if we can get to 13, it'll definitely be worth it. So um, <laughs> we're not there yet, but ha <laughs> ha. Uh, so we're not there yet, but we are getting closer. This has been your week nine Project Amberlight update. Boom.